how does it feel after 33 years when you are coming? And I have come here before, but again, not like this. You know, come here and say for journeys in terms of uh, the respective teachers and students. It really feels I'm dense, actually. <laughs> but again, a very good morning to all the students here and the respective teachers. Um, it's definitely uh, a great moment for me, sheer joy to come here and share my experiences which I had in the school. It's been 33 years and I had the second batch. Uh, 1992 was my LCC and uh, yeah, I was here from class 5 to class 10. That's, uh, that was my tenure. So, a lot of changes has happened in the last three decades. The, but again, the smell of the soil is still there. Okay. That feeling, that sentiment, that flavor is still there. But again, we don't have all those teachers which we used to have there. But again, there are some teachers, very, very dear teachers. And even some students who are now teachers uh, in the school. And I'm, I'm really, really happy. I'm still very much connected with them. So now when Pompa Miss told me that you have to come and you have to say something about yourself and about your experiences with Joy Miss when you were in school. So uh, for me, I would say uh, not much, nothing much to say. Uh, I am, as I say, the second part of the Foundation School. Part India 1992 is currently an image consultant and soft skills trainer in the making, a personality development trainer, a beauty pageant winner, a grooming coach, a preschool specialist, and I am associated with a lot of social activities. That's my current scenario with my profile, my working profile. I'm a freelancer, not working as of now anywhere. Now, let me come back to that real thing which I am going to share with you. Now school is never a mere structure made out of dreams and stone, but it's made from memories, successes, failures, first crush, heartbreaks, first performances, and an integral and important part of childhood. And I, when I say first crush, and I when I say heartbreak, I just could see some of you smiling over here. Well, it did not happen for me. But it may happen for any one of you. And it's almost similar, the same thing happened to me as well. Joy Ritter, to me, at that point of time in my life, was a woman who was immensely strong, focused, disciplined, and a powerful personality I have ever witnessed in my life so far. We always have a tendency to look for, look up to a role model in our life, whom we can get inspired and motivated in those period of life when we are struggling and she is with the mind. Her presence in the whole school when she used to give rounds used to scare us a little bit. Oh my god, child is there. Shh. And it's not out of fear, but it's out of respect. Reverential fear as we say. Now more than 30 years back, the amount of strength and confidence I have developed it started right from here on this soil. Her keen observation power has helped me find my own talent as a dancer. And she has always encouraged us for such cultural performances. So much so that in Pondicherry, when we went, she took us and gave an opportunity to showcase how our talents were there. We performed. I have really seen a great leadership in her, which has always has given me that thing that you know, she is, there is always a personal touch whenever she used to come and talk to us, come and talk to the teachers. Whenever she was there, we always felt the presence of a home away from home. Today, this very foundation of Future Foundation School is being laid by our own joy base, whose vision and mission, utmost dedication and relentless energy spent is worth mentioning. And I feel very proud that I'm part of this school and could get that support, guidance and blessings of a truly empowered lady, a woman of substance, which I call her, who is Joya Mitchell. 
Can I get a hand hand please for that? In my life so far, she is one of those very few ladies whom I have always admired and got inspired from. Those five years of my school life in TFS, uh, TFFS have helped me build my foundation with the value system I received from my teachers, the social skills, respect, self-worth, empathy, and realizing my potential along with the academic ability. And I'm really, really grateful for that. And later, when I became a teacher and eventually a principal of a preschool or little Georgians, I could understand and implement all those what I saw and observed in her. You all are very fortunate to have such able teachers and such a principal now, Sir Ranjan Mitter, whom we used to call Bhagavata at one time. Who is an ideal successor of Jaramitter in every aspect. I wish good luck to each one of you associated with this school. And well, when she asked me to uh, say something about do you have five minutes and you can just say share your experience. So these are the things which I could just jot down at that point of time. And my son was very excited and yesterday she was saying, okay, you tell me what you are going to say about your uh, joyness. Because I was explaining this, this is what I have to do, this is what is going to happen and then that. So even she, he also realized that it's a very, very special place. And when for each one of you, after 30 years, when you see yourself after 30 years and when you get that feeling of coming back to your own school and talk about your own self and the school and the founder, it really means a lot. And I'm really, really thankful to all the teachers who selected me and uh, invited me here to talk to all of you. I wish you good luck and for joining us. I'm really, really grateful to give us such a holistic atmosphere when, uh, in, uh, not only in academic field but also in the cultural section which has actually helped us you know, open our ways and got to know our creative talents. So, uh, thank you very much once again and that will be all.